I'll show you how to make a very delicious, very easy, very healthy, and really tasty cauliflower alfredo. Yeah, let's get right to it. We're going to start off this recipe with the cauliflower. So I've started with washing my cauliflower and then I've roughly chopped it. Don't worry about chopping it like too small, it just needs to um, have like a couple of chunks so that you can easily steam and then later blend the cauliflower. So this is what I've done. To steam my cauliflower, I usually just use a large pot and then one of these foldable steaming baskets. Simply add a little bit of water into the pot, put it on a medium heat and then place your cauliflower inside the steaming basket and put the lid on the top. Whilst the cauliflower is steaming for 10 to 15 minutes, you can prepare your pasta according to the packaging instructions. Whilst you've got these two things on the stove, you can chop up your onion and your garlic. Once your cauliflower is softened, you can place it inside of your blender. And once your pasta is cooked, carefully reserve about 200 ml of the cooking water. We're going to be using this later. To the blender, you then also add the milk and about half of the pasta water. Add your chopped onions and the garlic. And don't worry about adding these raw at this point. We're going to be heating through the sauce later, so they will be cooked in that way. To the blender, we're also adding some smoked paprika powder, some white miso paste, a vegetable stock cube, nutritional yeast and some coconut oil. You can find the full amounts of the ingredients in the link in the description box below. Blend all ingredients on a high speed for a couple of minutes until smooth. If your blender needs a little bit more liquid, you can simply add in the rest of the pasta water that we have kept earlier. Continue blending until your sauce is smooth and then transfer it over into a large saucepan. Place it over medium heat and let it heat up for a couple of minutes. Make sure to regularly stir it. Season to taste with salt and pepper and then add in your pasta. And now we're ready to plate up. I love to garnish my pasta bowl with a little bit of fresh parsley, some ground pepper and on this occasion I actually also added some fried tempeh. I simply love adding something with a little bit more texture into this dish or also something with kind of like a contrasting flavour, so this tempeh worked really well. I really hope you've enjoyed this very simple and super delicious pasta sauce recipe. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see any more pasta recipes and yeah, otherwise I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!